Right. Well, let's move on to the next company, then PG Electro Plus. Well, that's in focus. Remember, they raised some money. Also, in uh, August, you had close to 500 crores that were raised by the QIP route. The proceeds will be utilized for uh, funding the working capital uh, returns of the subsidy. To discuss this and to understand the way ahead as well, we have Mr. Vikas Gupta, the managing director, who joins us uh, on the show. Uh, hi, Mr. Gupta. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, tell us the total quantum you've raised is close to 500 crores. Break it up for us. How much of it will be used for working capital for CAPEX plans? Uh, give us some clarity of that. Yeah, good morning, Nigel. So morning. we have raised 500 crores, uh, and out of that, almost 238 crores will go into working capital, and almost around 130 crores will go into capex. The balance amount is for general corporate purposes. So this uh, QIP is a very important event. Like uh, the company now has a very strong balance sheet. The net worth has also gone up, and uh, for us, the company is uh, debt free at on, on net basis as of now. All right. The other big transaction that took place was Bearing P. They, you know, offloaded some stake. Do they intend to sell more? And will the promoter entity be interested in lapping up some of the stake? Uh, so, Nigel, so uh, we know that Bearings has offloaded some stake. So, as of now, we don't know the further course of action on the Bearings part. On mm -hmm. the promoter side, we are not looking at any kind of activity uh, right now. Okay. Mr. Gupta, uh, good morning. Uh, you did not participate in the PLI hardware scheme. Uh, are you uh, looking to tie up uh, or kind of enter a joint venture with someone who did? I mean, uh, what can we expect there? Yeah, Prashant, so basically, uh, just to uh, correct here, we have a TV joint venture uh, where we uh, formed a joint venture with Jaina Group. We announced about that also a couple of months back. So we have already made, submitted our application under IT PLI 2.0 under uh, a JV company. So we are looking at and uh, evaluating various opportunities going forward. Okay. Uh, so this PLI benefits that you're eligible to get to the tune of almost 200 crores in FY24. Can you tell us uh, when will you start booking that? Will it be in FY24 itself? And what is the kind of incremental revenue contribution that you're looking at? So the uh, the PLI benefits from the uh, white goods PLI scheme will start uh, accruing, and the, the the amount of 200 crores is spread over a period of five years. Uh, for FY23, we have already achieved the uh, the uh, targets in terms of investment and in terms of sales uh, to qualify for the PLI benefit. Uh, so mm -hmm. we have to still uh, submit our application. So that process is on. Once we submit our application for FY23. Will you accrue those uh, numbers in our uh, financial data? Okay. okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Gupta, you know, I wanted to ask you about your how business is shaping up as well. As of now, I think a larger quantum comes in from OEM, but obviously the stock market for business purposes as well, ODM segment is much more attractive. So what is the mix right now? How do you see the mix moving going so, ahead? So, so Nigel, so basically, uh, I'll give you a, a, a clarity on that. So for our product business in washing machine, our 100% business is a ODM business. And in case of our air conditioner business, almost around 75% of our business is a ODM business. And in air coolers, almost 50% is ODM and 50% is OEM. So when we look at the totality on the product side, in product segment, we are all around 75% Oopsie. This is ODM category of business. You know, we product. missed that. M M Mr. Mr. Gupta, in totality, what is the total ODM contribution as of now? Yeah. Okay, all right. Product business. No, uh, actually, we have uh, we just missed that number. I think we'll try to reconnect. So, uh, so 75, 75 to 80%. Yeah. As of now is ODM uh, on the product side. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, 75 to 80 percent is ADA, uh, ODM on the product side. Got that? And is it higher? Is it a higher margin business for you than OEMs? And if yes, how higher can the margins be? So uh, definitely, as compared to the OEM business, the ODM business. Mm, okay, I think there's some issue we are having with your audio and video. So, Mr. Gupta, uh, you know, we'll have to sort of try and get back to that. But that's PG Electroplus. By the way, we.